The governor of Indiana was asked six times if his religious freedom law discriminates. I'm open Each that. time he dodged but, uh, it, Portland's mayor didn't like it. The man just wouldn't answer the damn question. Tonight, lawmakers in Indiana are backpedaling against national boycotts. This law in Indiana is an outrage. They say their religious freedom law is actually inclusive of all religions. Some call that covering your backside. I think it's one part crazy partisan politics, and there's a lot of that bouncing around in the world and in the country today. Today, Portland Mayor Charlie Hales ordered all city-funded travel to Indiana to stop, not spending a dime. Here's why. The religious freedom law says Indiana government cannot burden a person's ability to follow their religious beliefs. Critics say that opens the door to discrimination. In Indiana, they are sending a message loud and clear to young people um, who are LGBTQ um, that their lives don't matter. 37 states now recognize gay marriage, and critics say religious freedom laws are an attempt to counter that. Just last year, on the verge of winning freedom to marry in Oregon, a similar ballot measure was filed. It would have allowed businesses um, to discriminate against uh, gay and lesbian couples seeking wedding-related services. And while troubling, uh, Gina Frazzini of Basic Rights Oregon says religious freedom laws actually do even more damage by not addressing other issues. We see um, more of our youth represented in homeless populations, higher rates of suicide, violence against uh, members of the LGBTQ community. Apple's CEO has condemned the law. Angie's List has canceled a $40 million project in that state. And there is talk from former NBA stars of canceling the Final Four in Indianapolis. This, as some politicians are more clear than others. A mistaken idea that religious theology can trump basic human rights.